our mild-mannered, highly intelligent, sometimes neurotic hero of the game. The henchmen live only to serve out the will of their master, and to get paid as well. This enemy is a well-trained urban terrorist with only one mission. Eliminate anyone that stands in his way. Hermann Schultz used his time in prison to develop vibroshock weaponry. Now, he uses them to further his career in crime as the Shocker. These highly trained soldiers are elite weapon specialists and expert hand-to-hand -hand combatants. These guards work for Hammerhead, so beware, Spidey, they're not on your side. Fugitive William Baker hit from the law in an atomic test range, where a freak accident turned him into the Sandman. These 1930s rejects live to follow Hammerhead's mobster ways. Once a two-bit thug, until he had an adamantium plate implanted in his head, Hammerhead now rules the Mafia with an iron hand. Mechanized guardians and maintenance workers. Not truly evil, but an obstacle nonetheless. These drones pack huge missiles to destroy intruders. They can detect heat signals with their infrared sensors. Not much of a threat on its own. This drone calls entire squads for help. Lizard, product of a twisted experiment gone wrong. These relics of a time long past have been brought to life by Electro, complete with lightning swords and pneumatic kick. Max Dillon was working on a power line when lightning hit him. Now by a miracle he survived and was reborn as the menacing Electro. After merging with the BioNexus device, Electro became pure energy. With nearly infinite power, Hyper Electro will prove Spidey's greatest challenge yet. The beautiful Dr. Watts is a prominent scientist and a world-renowned expert in biomechanics. It's this expertise that allowed her to create the BioNexus device. Blessed or maybe cursed with a mutant ability to absorb thoughts and powers through physical contact, Rogue has proven herself a hero again and again one of the X-Men. Fueled by the dream that mutants and humans can coexist in peace, Professor Charles Xavier formed the X-Men. Their men and women, sworn to protect a world that fears and hates them, the X-Men champion the right against the tyranny of man and mutant alike. Dr. Henry McCoy, Ph.D. When he's not conversing with world leaders in biogenetics, McCoy helps to save the world with the uncanny X-Men as the Beast. Spider Phoenix. What happens when the Phoenix Force merges with one spider-bitten hero. 
a cosmically powered headache for evildoers everywhere. Prodigy, a recipe calling for three parts Spidey, one part Thunderbolts, and one part huge misunderstanding. Dusk, even stealthier than the black suit, as Dusk Spidey strikes out from the shadows. A suit made of rubber insulation may come in handy should Spidey face any electrically powered opponents. Spidey with a makeover at the hands of the now legendary Alex Ross. Alex Ross's Spidey now available in white. For all of you that haven't read Earth X, Spidey was nice enough to model Venom 2's outfit for you. The negative zone is a strange and sometimes terrifying alternate universe, one that can affect a hero in a variety of ways. The symbiote, now bonded to Venom, used to be Spidey's favorite suit. Well, that is, until he found out that it was alive, of course. The suit worn by Miguel O'Hara to stand up for justice in the year 2099. Captain Universe, powered by the Enigma Force. Wrapped on Counter-Earth, our hero dons the nanotech suit of Spider-Man Unlimited. Costume or superhero Frank, the amazing Bagman. Born in maximum clonage, the Scarlet Spider. Ben Riley. A serious case of mistaken identities left New York with one Spidey too many. When his loved ones are in danger, sometimes there's no time for the full suit. <laughs>